Hello, my name is Greg Smith. I'm the Senior Technical Trainer here at SMA America Solar Academy. And in today's Tech Tip video, I'm going to go over the display and messaging for the TLUS Series Inverter. The first thing I want to show you is the knock feature on the display. If you notice, there's a little icon up on the top of the display that actually looks like somebody's knuckle. And that's there on purpose. As a matter of fact, if you knock on the screen, the backlight will come on and you can scroll through the different screens of information. Now, the DC disconnect is off, so this display is actually powered by the grid when the AC disconnect and the AC breaker for the inverter is on. Now I'm going to turn the DC disconnect on and we'll watch the startup behavior of the inverter. So you'll know when the inverter is receiving DC power from the array because you start seeing some other values pop up, uh, specifically DC voltage and current. Um, you'll see this AFCI self-test successful. And then you'll start hearing a bunch of relay clicks. That is normal. It's normal to hear them. A little bit different than the classic Sunny Boys, but this is a normal operating behavior for the inverter. Now, once the inverter does connect to the grid and starts making power, the little grid isolation relay will drop down and close, indicating that the inverter is feeding power to the grid. One of the first things you'll notice is the box on the upper right-hand side of the display. And there's three pieces of information here that are really valuable. Uh, the first one is the power. Now, that is the instant power. That is how many watts the inverter is making at this moment. The next line is the day, or what we used to call E today. And now that is the energy that has been produced by the inverter in this one day. Okay, energy is kilowatt hours. The last box you'll see is what we call E total, or the total amount of energy the inverter has made since the very first day it was turned on. Continuing down the right-hand side of the LCD, we can see some information about the grid. For example, we can see the line one and line two to neutral voltages, and if we tap again, we can see the line one to line two voltage, which is either gonna be 208 or 240 volts for this particular inverter. Continuing to the left, we can see the grid isolation relay. And here we notice that it is closed. If there is a grid outage or when the inverter is waiting to connect to the grid, it will be an open indication. Continuing even further left on the LCD, we get to the DC or PV array information. Now, one thing that you'll notice is the little array icon has a darkened area that flips back and forth from left to right. Now, what this is showing you is the DC information on each MPPT channel. So if the left side of the array is darkened, that is channel A. On the right side, you'll see the information from channel B. Now, not every inverter model will require both inputs to be used at the same time. For example, each MPP has room for two strings in the DC disconnect. If you're only using channel A, then when the inverter shifts the darkened area of the ray to the right to show channel B, well, then you're gonna see zero volts and zero amps. That is completely normal. That's what you would expect to see from the channel that has no string inputs. Continuing clockwise around the LCD, we finally get to the last element, which is the yield graph. Now the graph will show two different types of information. It'll show the last 16 hours of yield or the last 16 days of yield. And if you want to switch between the two graphs, all you have to do is tap on the screen. There's some information available in the lower part of the LCD in the message area that could be useful for installers that are connecting the Web Connect network. Now, all you have to do to get to this information is double tap the LCD pretty quick. Here we see the firmware version that's installed in the inverter. 
Now here you can see we went ahead and named our inverter Solar Academy TL. But right here we see the IP address that the web connect has received from the router. We also see the subnet mask and we can see which of the two RJ45 ports is being used on the web connect module. And the very last thing to show up in that message area is what language the inverter has been configured with. Now that I've gone over some things that you will see on the day of commissioning, let's go over some things that you might see if the inverter encounters an error. I've turned off the AC breaker to the inverter to simulate a grid outage, and there's actually a lot of information here that you can use for troubleshooting. The first thing you'll notice is that the inverter is giving you a plain text message right here in the message area that says waiting for grid voltage. Now the L1, L2 uh, symbol next to the utility pole icon has been replaced with an error code. In this example it's 801. So the installer responding to this error could see very clearly that the 801 error is the cause of the fault. Then all he would have to do is get the installation guide, go to the very back where the messages are, and find out exactly what the 801 means and how to fix that error. Well, since the inverter thinks the grid is out, let's go ahead and turn the secure power supply switch on and see how the inverter reacts when the grid is out, the sun is up, and the secure power supply switch is turned on. So the first thing you're going to notice is that the inverter still does the AFCI test and it shows you the message. You'll still hear all the same relay clicks uh, that the inverter makes when it's connecting to the grid. And lastly, you'll see the message, standalone operation. The very last thing I want to point out is the speed wire connection icon, which is a line with a dot in the middle of it. Now, whenever the web connect module is connected to a local area network, that icon will always be displayed. All of the display information can be found in section 3.2 of the user manual for the Sunny Boy TLUS inverter. If you'd like to learn more about the TL inverter, then go to our website at sma-america.com, click on the products tab, and there you can find a lot of information about this really cool inverter. My name is Greg Smith. Thank you for watching.